live from the local station. News 4 Jack starts now. Right now at 11, a new resolution could suspend all safety drills in Duval County schools. That is set to be discussed in a special meeting tomorrow, where the board will also work to finalize the district's reopening plan. Yeah, News for Jax has several reporters covering the latest developments of the pandemic, keeping you informed and safe. And we start with reporter Joe McLean, who is live tonight from where the board will meet in person tomorrow afternoon. Joe? Yeah, this is the resolution that uh, is one of the agenda items for tomorrow. This It's just one page, but uh, what it does is it proposes asking the uh, Florida Department of Education to suspend the regulation that school districts perform drills, drills for fire, uh, for natural disasters, for active shooters or bomb threats. This would suspend them during COVID-19. Thursday's special meeting of the Duval County School Board has just two main agenda items. First, to vote on the superintendent's updated learning models. Florida's Education Commissioner Richard Corcoran issued that emergency order last week requiring all schools to allow students full-time brick-and-mortar learning five days a week, an order he defended today. Being in front of a great classroom teacher in that room with the interaction between the peers is absolutely the best learning environment for students. Districts can also submit a plan to the FDOE if it wants to get innovative with learning options. That's what's happening in Duval County. But the plan has to get the final sign off from the school board. Tomorrow's meeting will see the board vote on the superintendent's hybrid learning model, which starts off the year with limited face-to-face -face learning and then transitions to full-time options if and when the pandemic tapers off. Also on tomorrow's agenda, a new resolution that would see the state education department waive the requirement that schools perform emergency drills, including those for fires, natural disasters, active shooters, hostage situations, and bomb threats. The resolution says, quote, such emergency drills result in close contact of students and district staff that is contrary to the social distancing and other protective measures implemented by the district in response to COVID-19. Instead of the live active drills we all remember, the administration would distribute instructions, quote, both visually and verbally, for what to do in an emergency. Some parents I spoke to say the district's priorities might need to be adjusted. If we're immediately worried about socially distancing for drills, then maybe we should be considering whether we should be going back to school and campus in the first place. Now, I should mention the parents I spoke to, including Beller, say they do support this move uh, to uh, waive that uh, those those regulations for emergency drills again that meeting is tomorrow afternoon at 1 p.m. It is an in-person meeting here and News for Jacks, of course, will be here to break it all down for you. For now, I'm reporting live Joe McLean, Channel 4, the local station.